Good morning, friends. We're so glad you're here with us this morning. Welcome to another KHC TV Junior. We're going to have a special message from Miss Robin today, and we have a super special guest leading us all in worship. But let's open us up in some prayer and start our time off together. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for today. We thank you for waking us up and bringing us here together so that we can learn from you, from Miss Robin, and what you would have to teach us in your word. We pray, God, for our time together, and we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's worship together. Hey there, friends. We are going to sing some awesome Christmas songs today. And so I'm excited that we get to worship Jesus together. And so I'm going to teach you a few motions for this song that you might know called Go Tell It on the Mountain. And so when we sing that chorus, Go Tell It on the Mountain, this is what I want you to do. Here are the motions. It goes like this. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. All right? You try it now. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. All right? So when we sing that song and that part of the song, I want you to do those motions. Go grab some instruments and let's sing as loud as we can to Jesus this morning. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Sing it again. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Well, shepherds can't bear watching, or silent flocks by night. Behold, throughout the heavens, the shone a holy light. Come on! Shepherds feed and tremble when low above the earth. Bring out the angel chorus to hail the Savior's birth. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Down in a lowly manger, down in a lowly manger, the humble Christ was born. And God sent us salvation, the blessed Christmas morn. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Sing it out. Tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. One more time, sing it out. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. That Jesus Christ is born. great. Thank you for worshiping with me, and we'll see you next time. Wow, that was awesome. How fun was it to have Pastor Andrew come and lead us in worship today? Well, I have a very special lesson for us to learn, but first, I need to find my friend Mr. Duck. Has anyone seen him? Can, can you guys help me find him? Mr. Duck? Mr. Duck? Where is he? Oh, there you are, Mr. Duck. Hello. Were you hiding from me? 
Yes, I was hiding. See, I was looking, I was trying to see if our friends at home would help you find me. Oh, well, you know, they sure did. Thank you guys for helping me find Mr. Duck. You know, that reminds me of our Bible story today. After Jesus went back to heaven, one of Jesus' disciples, John, wrote to tell people about Jesus. He left clues in the Bible so that others could find out who Jesus really was. John called Jesus the Word, like we call God, uh, like we call the Bible God's Word. Because of this, we know that Jesus is the Word who became human and lived on earth. And I think we have a Bible story video to watch together today. Are you ready, Mr. Duck? Yes! Let's watch that together and learn about how and why Jesus was sent to earth by God. John, one of Jesus' disciples, wrote to tell people about who Jesus is. John wrote that the word Jesus existed in the beginning before the world even began. The word has always existed with God and the word has always existed as God. He was with God in the beginning. When God spoke at creation, all things were created through his word. Not one thing was created apart from him. The Word brought life into the world and light for all people. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness could not hide it. God sent a man named John the Baptist to be a witness to the light. John was not the light, but he came to tell people about the light so they might believe. The true light was coming into the world to give light to everyone. When Jesus came into the world, people did not recognize him. His own people did not accept him, but this is good news. To everyone who did accept him, he gave them the right to be a part of God's family, to be children of God. The word became a human and lived among us. People saw his glory, the glory of the one and only son of God. He was full of grace and truth, John the Baptist told people that even though Jesus came into the world after him, Jesus is greater because he existed before John. People received blessings from Jesus, grace upon grace. Long ago, God gave people the law through Moses, but now he has given us grace and truth through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, but Jesus, God's one and only son, has shown us what God is like. The birth of Jesus was good news. Jesus was no ordinary baby. He was God's son, sent to earth from heaven. Jesus came into the world as a human to bring us life. He brought light into darkness and showed us what God is like. The book of John was written by one of Jesus' disciples. After Jesus went back to heaven, John wrote to tell people about Jesus. John's words in the Bible are true because he wrote what God wanted him to write. The Bible is God's word. In this story, John told us about how Jesus was born and was fully God and fully human. John wrote about how God sent his one and only son, Jesus, into the world. We celebrate Christmas to remember Jesus' birth. Last week, we learned that God chose a young woman named Mary to be Jesus' mother, and he chose Joseph to be her husband and father to Jesus on earth. The angel of the Lord told Mary and Joseph who Jesus would be, but other people did not know who Jesus was when he came into the world. His own people didn't love him, but Jesus invites everyone who does love him to be a part of God's family, to be children of God. No one has ever seen God, but Jesus came to show us what he's like. Jesus, God's only son, lived a perfect life for God's glory. With the help of the Holy Spirit, the helper Jesus sent after he went to heaven, believers in Jesus can also live for God's glory. How great is that? Thanks for joining us this morning. Have a very Merry Christmas, and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.